Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. This is another Is This Pistol Still Relevant in this ongoing series. And last week, the Browning High Power was featured. This was discontinued in 2018. This is a Mark III. Well known and well regarded in the gun world for many years, but it sold for over $1,100 and I think shooters found other handguns that fit their needs, a little more modern, a lighter trigger pull, higher capacity, and it must not have been selling very well because they discontinued it. And if it was selling, they would have never done that. But the reason this question was even asked is because there are copies out there that we didn't see coming in 2018. We didn't know that Springfield and Gearson and FN would come out with their own versions of the high power with different names, but is this pistol still relevant? And most people said, yes, it is. Absolutely, it is because it was Browning's last design. It still goes bang, and even though the modern copies were upgraded features compared to this, it is still very much relevant, and you meaning me, should not even be asking that question. So that's the feedback I got from the Browning High Power. Excellent feedback, by the way. Certainly appreciate it. But this one is completely different. This one is a North American Arms mini revolver called the Pug. It's a single action, five shot, chambered in 22 Magnum. And you stick it in a holster just like this. It's very lightweight, deep concealment firearm. It's a revolver. People tend to like revolvers. I get a lot of feedback. People pocket carry revolvers all the time. But do you pocket carry a mini revolver? You can see the barrel length is about an inch. Very difficult to be accurate with, but it is a five shot and 22 Magnum right there seems to be getting more and more popular. You're seeing more firearms chambered in 22 Magnum, but it's not the most user friendly revolver to take out the cylinder and I'll show clear here. All right, had all the rounds removed. You have to pull out this pin and drop the cylinder. You can see it has recessed chambers right there. It has a tritium front night sight, a bar dot sight system, and then you would have to reload and put it back in just as such. It, it's, it's an interesting design. I think at one time there were so many people that were deep concealing these. This is the pug. There's also the 22 long rifle, 22 short. I don't know if they make the 22 short anymore. It's even hard to find ammo for that, but the 22 long rifle is even smaller than this. So if you're the type that wants to throw a firearm in the pocket and say, I don't even know it's there, which you and I know, we know it's there, then is this something that is still relevant today? Is it something that you carry? A lot of people would use this as a secondary or even a, a third firearm for carry. It has a rubber grip there, but when you grip it, you're basically getting a finger and a half, primarily one finger, and you pull the hammer back and shoot away. It's not accurate. This would be considered a belly gun, a get off me gun, if you can get to it. So that, that's the drawback with this, and then the reloads would certainly take a lot of time. It's not that type of revolver though. It's not the type that you want to reload. Now, would it get the attention of an attacker? Absolutely. The 22 is it's pretty loud. It's fast moving. It would get the attention. If, if that's what you were trying to accomplish, then yeah, you, you would achieve that with this 22 Magnum Pug. But I don't know. You know I, I, I used to be excited about it. It doesn't excite me anymore. I, I'm not sure if it's even relevant considering there are so many options out there. People say this is the golden age of firearms. Everything's available. Well, this has been available for years and years and years. It would go between $300, $350, a little bit more with the Tritium Night Sight. But it used to be something that I think a lot of people would throw in the pocket, and now I'm not sure. So that's why I'm asking the question, is this pistol still relevant? Today we're talking about the North American Arms Pug Mini Revolver chambered in 
22 Magnum, let me know. And uh, we'll talk about it with the next Is This Pistol Still Relevant video. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.